In an earlier video, I showed you how to find the center of a circle using just a little framing square. It's known as Thales Theorem, and if you're interested in that video, I'll post a link for it here. Now, what I'm going to show you today is what I believe is the easiest method to find the center of a circle uh, that is not in a plane, that's like not written on a piece of plywood or a plate of steel or something like that. Basically, you already have your circle made, whether that be out of wood or steel or plastic or what have you. The easiest way that I know of to find the center of the circle very accurately, and you don't have to do any measuring, which is always a good thing. So you can buy commercial made uh, center finders. This one here is actually out of a set, a combination square set by Sterrett. It's actually a very useful tool, but the problem with these is that this actually finds the exact true center. Now, some would say, well, why is that a problem? Well, the problem is, is that when you're using a writing instrument, it doesn't allow for the width of your lead. In this case, I'm using uh, Silver Streak, which is great marker for marking on steel. So when I draw this, it's actually just off of where the center mark is because it doesn't account for the lead. So I'm going to show you an even easier way by using a little framing square and a speed square. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them together just like so. And we're going to set the speed square so that it passes right through the center point of our little framing square. But we're going to back it off just slightly so that when we set our lead across there, it actually is right on the center. So it's going to be about a 30 second off. Now all we have to do is we just set the, uh, the framing square on the outside of the circle. And then we'll move this up until we get it perfect and then we can strike a line down that uh, speed square now all we have to do is rotate it one time for this you want to come to about the 90 degree position and we are going to do it one more time so if I get set here get it over here about 90 degrees make sure I have that on the outside of the circle first make sure my lead goes right through that center point and do it again and where the two points cross that is the center and to check it we'll just go and rotate it one more time in a different orientation we'll go somewhere in here reset our square a little tough to see because I'm off angle here but that should be right on the money well it's just a touch touch off and this was uh, CNC burned on a plasma table not a laser so it might not be 100% accurate but nonetheless you get the idea you can find the center of a circle with two squares that's actually, in my opinion, is more accurate than the commercial made center finders. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.